It's the hip clip video with Jim Bob. He's showing you how hip clips are the fastest towel holders in the West. He can pull them off, put them back on at will. He can whip them off, throw them over his shoulder, do a little kung fu, stick it back in there. Now he's got all his tools. He's got his uh, squeegee and a magnetically held screen tool. He's got a razor blade and a holster and a magnetic brush for brushing screens and whatnot. Click that on there. Whoa, watch out, Jim Bob. And he's ready to go. Good job, Jim Bob. All right, y'all. Let's go. Hi, this is Zach from Central Coast Window Cleaners, and I got a quick video for you on how the hip clip works. When it's on your belt, you're trying to use the palm of your hand. Let's see if I can do it, do it this way. I'm trying to use the palm of your hand to open it and your fingers to put your towel in. You just grab any ordinary towel. You don't need to uh, get it to the thin section at all. You can grab it. It's even best if you just grab it bunched up like this. And you just take it and if you push against this you're opening up the mouth of the hip clip and it's in. You can grab the towel any way you want and just shove it in there. But you'll... That's the reason they're the fastest towel holder in the world. Now if you go out of your way to do this and all that. That's that's fine. You can even pre-push it to drop them. They they slide on the belt when you use them as a, on a professional belt. They're able to reposition side to side very easily. Sometimes tight, but that's good. That's what you want. You don't want them moving around on you and stuff like that. But I can position it exactly where I want in accordance to my holster and my other three hip clips. I use three of them, three clips. This one right here, when I squeegee down, it's going to catch water. Sometimes, you know, fold out the towel real nice, catch water at the bottom. I'm going to wipe the bottom edge of the window and the sides. This is slowly going to get wetter and wetter and dirtier and dirtier. I'll keep hanging it on this third one until it gets really soaked. Then I might start hanging it on the holster or over my shoulder. Eventually, it's going to go into the truck. These two are going to go this way, and I'm going to put my newest towel on there as, as the cleanest towel. That's the final wipe down towel. The, cl the clip is mostly about really holding on to a towel good, like so wind doesn't blow it away, just controls the towels. Nice, you know? Okay, when the hip clip arrives to you, it comes in this bag here. Now what you're gonna have inside is the hip clip with its instructions stuck in it. You can just pull that out. It's got the back clip, which is meant to go on a professional window cleaning belt. It's got the flex to it because uh, when you snap it all together, this part right here flexes, puts pressure into the belt between the hip clip and the backing of it. That keeps the pressure so you can slide it along the belt. This is the back part for using it just on your pants. How to take the hip clip apart, the, the backing piece off. To push down on that and flex it to get it out. Try to see if I can do it on film for you here. You heard that little click? Now once I did that click, I can, I can get it out like that. I've got a section of belt here. It's just your common nylon belt that we use a lot. Um, it's pretty simple to just, so it'll, so it'll slide onto the belt. Sorry, I'm not very good with this camera. So slide on the belt. Sometimes it's pretty tight. It's meant to be. Uh, it's meant to be very strong, so it doesn't go moving around. I like to do it a little bit like this. Fit it onto it first, then flex the nylon and get it to go into the, the bottom section. Now you've got it on there and just grab into the bottom part and click onto the top. Sometimes you have to push pretty hard together to, to get it to lock on there. That's, that's meant to be. It's meant to be real strong. And it'll be, you know, at first it'll be pretty tight on that belt. But when you have it on your body, you can slide it. Like I said, this is meant for commercial use. It's meant to be very strong. Let's see if I can slide it off. Yeah, once it wears in, you know, it kind of wears down the plastic a little bit. Inside, you can see that there's also holes um, in the back here. Now, on the instructions, it'll show you the, the exact type of screw to get self-tapping screw. You can go to the hardware store and just ask them. Give me six thirty seconds by five eighths long 
Phillips self-tapping screws. While you have it on the belt, you can screw through the back of it using the screws in the uh, instruction manual. Uh, the self-tappers will go right through the nylon. They should go through it. And their conical head will fit in to those holes. And it'll be nice and smooth, but it'll be fixed if for some reason you want it fixed on your belt. I'm going to show you here real quick. Some of you might notice on the hip clip that the pivot pin is sticking out. That's for a reason. You grab that pivot pin and pull it out. That's why it's sticking out like that. Now you've got the spring. You can go to the hardware store as well and say you want this thing to just be a super burly hip clip. Um, you can get the washer that fits inside that hole at the bottom. Stack a few washers or um, I even think a kind of a plug of really thick rubber would be even better than that. And that way you will make it, you'll pre-compress the spring. So now putting it back together, a little bit more tricky, but just compress the thing. It helps to look through that hole and, and find that you've lined up the hole. Anyway, a couple seconds, uh, playing plan with it. It's, it's easier to kind of put it down on a table and look down on top of it because you can see it guiding through right there. So I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, stay safe out there. Okay, kids, here we go. Jim Bob McStreak on the job. He's going to pop off that screen with a screen tool, stick it against the wall, and he's going to give it a nice brushing. The screen's already pretty clean, but he's brushing it down real nice, going along the edges. Doesn't look like he's working hard, but he's using good pressure. Brush down those bottoms a little bit. Now he's going to pre-wet both of these windows so they can soak while he's doing his job. A good job. Now he's going to re-scrub it again, bust loose a lot of those little dirt particles. Now he's using a simple squeegee method here. This is so Jim Bob can work hard all day long, day after day after year. Now he's got that first rag. That's his first one that gets real dirty. Now this second one's taking up some of that. And the third one is perfect and clean. And he knows he's not going to leave any marks anywhere because they've already been wiped down by the first two rags. Rescrubs that. Now he's showing right here how you flip that window mop over and you can keep that water from spilling because you got water in that bucket. Now he squeegeed it down real nice. There you go, the first rag again, getting all that muck. It's still pretty clean so he can twist the rag and go up the sides. Now he's going around it again with that second rag and the third rag goes around. Now you want to give it a little visual check as he's going. He's going to leave the screen. That's a little trick so that you always know you can check both sides and then put that screen in at the very end. Now up close you can see he's using that first rag. He's trying to stay out of that bottom gutter so as to not pick up water on that rag. Now you'll see right here he's putting his finger right in the point of that rag. That's how you get them edges real nice and the customers real happy. He's going to window mop this one down right quick like. Man he moves fast as Jim Bob. You can use the Z pattern on that to get her down. Once again, that first rag, and you just use this first rag, you can go up the sides until it gets real dirty and you got nothing left on the rag to move it around to. Just going up those sides, it's important on these nice vinyl windows, do a nice job on that vinyl. It's easy to wipe down, doesn't take hardly any effort. I'm going to go up there and double check along the top there, he's probably working on the second rag. Now he's going to spin that screen for good measure, and there you go folks. Hope you all enjoyed the show and you have a good time out there window washing. A little ladder that could. Come on, little ladder. Walk. Walk, walk, walk. Come on, you can do it. You can do a little ladder, you got it. Walk, walk, walk.